all I hear is fan now, I think. <laughs> Perfect. I had this that you died and then Skyrim intro. <laughs> Alright, I'll be taking over this channel now, everyone. Thank you for your support. Today we'll be building a PC by telekinetically manipulating the tools in front of me. As you can see here, the screwdriver is now floating around with my magical powers. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Bring it down a bit. I want to see this opening of orb. Help. <laughs> what even is oh. this? Oh, I can't see. Oh. I've given birth. <laughs> Can I do this with one hand? Yes. Alright, watch this, noobs. So what you do is you'll pull the rod down, like, you turn it, and then you just have to move it to the side and, like, clip it in. Uh -huh. This is the part where it's gonna feel like you're breaking everything. Do I push really hard? Yeah, it's gonna feel like you're breaking it a bit. Not a bit. Maybe it like Hold on. <laughs> oh god, I'm dead. Show me the see if <laughs> all I see is white. I'm going to heaven. That's wrong. We all know that's not gonna happen. Okay, let's see. It's been a long time since I put my CPU in, but I seem to remember it being really difficult to close it. Like, I think you just have to go for it. Ah! It popped up! Ah! What? Ah! Oh! Yes, yeah, let's take that out. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. There you go, oh, close. I'm sweating! <laughs> I, I couldn't tell there was a thing on it. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you this. Oh, battery power. Hold on. <laughs> Ow. How many times will you kill me on that? <laughs> I tripped over a box. It's fine. Oh god, the orientation. No. Oh, it's long moose. Oh. <gasps> and then just press again to make sure, yeah. <laughs> Looks good. I can't really tell. I, I'm assuming it's right. Is this normal? Harder. <gasps> okay. Goodbye. Wait. Oh, no, I have a thing for this. What? <laughs> and then shit, shit, stick the graphics card in, <laughs> and then hook up the <laughs> the pins and power. Just shit, shit the graphics card. <laughs> if you could shit. Can you uh, see 20, CPU? 2080 graphics cards out. <laughs> Can uh, you see CPU? Good enough. It's probably enough. The pressure. What? Is that good enough? Uh, yeah, it looks fine. You gotta eat the rest, That's, though. I can't. I already have. Oh, good. Good. I'm That's dying. Man. I'm dying of death. I'm dying of death overdose. <laughs> How do you overdose on death? Isn't, By dying. Isn't one death enough to die? No, you just die. You die so much that you die. <laughs> this table is inscribed with an artwork of three peas. There are six dentists sitting in the corner. The abstract art display is a feeling of boredom. This artwork represents Johnny eating his fine meal on December December 12th, 5509. I need two hands to clap to sync. Uh. <laughs> Just slap yourself. Hello, uh, it's been a while. This is the next day. I, it was, it was painful and messy and not as smooth as I had. So, there's, what is there to explain other than the usual installation stuff? There's a fan controller that came with this, which by the way, didn't fit thanks to the RAM, the dedicated RAM. There's only one, two, and then a third uh, thingy for the grill that's holding it up, which should be fine because it's the corners, it's, it's doing a good job. I put a, a M2 SSD first there and then in there, in Turbo M2, I don't know if you can see it. And then two fans over here, connecting into this, blah blah blah. Who cares? Uh, now I, the has power is go on. I'm scared. Nick, hello. Hi. 
Good job. Oh. Okay. Now, it's plugging. It's the wrong way. We're in. I'm scared. <laughs> also, these are dumb. Oh, these are dumb plugs, and I might have broken it, which may mean this might not work, which is a problem. Hey, it's my knees. Oh, look, it's Nick. Ew. No one wants to see that when I come on. Three, two, one. Nothing's gonna happen. You just hit the power. What? The power button. Oh, you I just see. turned the power supply on. Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Don't explode. Rip. Don't explode. Please don't explode. Your fans aren't on? Are they the right direction? <laughs> I, okay, yeah, they are. See? I knew it. The, 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 the radiator fans are on. Oh. <laughs> so, update. Everything seems to be working. That light doesn't work. Yeah, those lights work. Oh, I had to update the BIOS because Windows wasn't uh, doing its thing and now well, maybe it'll work goodbye. Updates complete. Oh, look, I'm not recording. <laughs> All right, take it from top, everyone. All right, I explained a lot of stuff. I forgot I was in recording anyways. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Windows was doing the circly thing and then freezing, so I had to update the BIOS. Now it's installing Windows. The lights of the cooler, I can actually control with a remote. The, the lights here, I can control with a button there. That should have been following that, but the only cable that comes out is a power cable. And, and the LEDs are, are, aren't working for some reason, so I'll have to change that, maybe use this spare one I had, which is just a rainbow LED. There's no adjustment, but I'll get a new one later. This little shit right here keeps touching the fan so i need to keep pushing it i know exactly what you're talking about it's the best floor it's the it's the the what is that it's part of the daisy chain of power cables let me see what th this can do here's some definitely hear you right now and i don't i don't know what you're saying nick <laughs> <laughs> me either i found yellow Ooh. Cool. I really don't understand how this works, by the way. I, just, I press buttons and then different modes appear out of nowhere, so... Like, how do I get to this? I don't know. <sighs> okay, that's my favorite. I'm not changing this. This is great. Okay, I found it. Alright, uh, oh! Okay, I'll set that up. Goodbye forever. Hi! <laughs> Hello! It's been a while. Specifically, it's been, like, slightly less than... A week since I recorded everything everything else you just saw it was a mess it was a complete mess but then I figured hey if I can like piece together some form of shit pile out of these little dingleberries I might as well try to like cap it off at the end so I'm recording this so here's the finished computer if I can get over here so there is where my laptop lives right now. It is sitting there, it's kind of sad. It's like it's cast away now, but I will... It's still important, and I need it for like travels and stuff, so it's okay. You're still important. I never could. Anyway, here's my old monitor and mouse, etc. New monitor, keyboard. That's a mic, don't worry about it. And down here is darkness. Oh, actually, no, it's not too dark. So don't worry about my mini fan. Like I said, it's hot, but I've been using it for about five to six days now. The computer, not the fan. So let there be life. Cable management could be better. It's not the worst. Could be better. At first, it seemed like there was some cooling problems because basically I tried Minecraft with like big fat shaders and it reached a maximum of like 80 degrees celsius the core temperature which is little it's it's okay but it's hot it's not destructively hot but it's hot but apparently it was automatically basically overclocking itself to 4.8 gigahertz rather than the base uh, 3.5 so i tried going into the bios and then dropping that 4.8 to something a little lower like 4.4 4.1 i'll figure it out for now, I'm just experimenting, but I know that uh, 3.5, the base gigahertz, is okay, but it, it could do better. But 4.8 makes it burn and almost explode, so that's bad. There I am. That's the 
my camera strap in the view of professionalism. So there it is. It's functional. It's been functional for a while. I edited a couple videos on it. I haven't really played or recorded anything yet. Just tested stuff. Right now it's at the base gigahertz with a temperature of 44. So that's the idle temperature, 44, 45 ish it's not perfect but it's it's all right i think that maybe the thermal paste may have been a little off or maybe the the placement being like back there there's no really airflow it's blocked so the entire hot air when it gets hot though i just feel a cloud of hot air just fuming from my legs because it's the only place the air can freely get out but maybe also the fact that there is no AC and it's really hot, that might be a problem as well. So yeah, I'm burning in here, but also my computer works. It's not very cool, but neither am I, so it's fine. I don't know why I'm recording this screen with a camera when I can just screen share, screen record using OBS, but oh well. Hello, uh, recording the screen using the camera, pointing the camera at the screen, I mean, it was way too powerful for me, so I had to record normally now. So for some reason, even though I have the automatic overclock thing off by setting the maximum processor state to 99%, it worked for rendering, but whenever I click into at least GTA, it still goes up to 4.8 megahertz. And I don't know how many frames I have right now, but it looks smooth enough. Before I fiddled with the overclocking, when it was just all the way up, I run, I ran a bench test and it was around like 120 FPS so pretty good obviously it's much smoother than my laptop with its uh, GTX 960M could ever do so that's cool so here I am creating a new world in Minecraft 1.16.1 let's see how it does right now with this kind of shaders on it's at and, and at 4.7 megahertz it's at 75 degrees Celsius and about 60 fps but yeah this is this is seus ptgi by the way so so like pseudo ray shade ray tracing shaders also can we talk about this spawn what what is this but yeah currently it's at 73 degrees celsius still at 4.7 I, I keep calling it megahertz I, I mean to say gigahertz numbers what do they mean but yeah i overclocking it's it's odd Earlier when I tried with the same shader and with full overclocking, I got 70 FPS. Right now I'm getting 40. I don't know what changed. It's still pretty hot, but it is also a big fat Minecraft shaders. Which, as you, as we all know, Minecraft is a very intensive game. Okay, so uh, I realized that my render distance was at 32 and uh, smooth lighting was at maximum. So I made that minimum and like 22 distance and now, now I'm getting 70 something FPS or 66 right now. But I'm also in a shattered savanna, so that probably doesn't help. Anyways, take it away, handheld camera or not. So yeah, that's about it. I've, I had never built a PC before. Now I more or less know how, and the mission is a success. I finally built my PC.